Hey there Gunpla nerds, welcome back to Gun Platinum. Today I have for you a newer model, and that was the one that was released this year in 2020. It's the High Grade Origin Gundam, or High Grade Gundam in or from Origins. Um, if you watch the anime, you'll know that this never made the appearance, it was only in the novel. So I'm really hoping that Sunrise releases uh, an anime for this because I would just love to see this mobile suit in action. We already had the master grade version of this one. Um, it's not too pricey or anything and it has great detail but it was about time Bandai gave us the granddaddy Gundam in origin form for high grade. So let's get moving shall we? Um, right off the bat I love it. It's got that origin feel to it not that um, high grade UC type which is like I said before um, kind of looks like widescreen but you have a really wicked illustration in the background of, you know, like got him in the front and just explosions in the back. This thing is packing heat, as you can tell from all angles, you know? So yeah, we have right there. Um, this is what I mean. Newer models have English all across. It's my favorite thing, you know? What it should look like front to back and the other version as seen later on in the series or manga whatever it's released as. We have the illustration in the side. A couple more action poses. All right. And the side of it. So let's move on to popping this kit open. <clears throat> so we have our typicals, OG colors, blue, red, yellow, white. Um, pretty basic so far, nothing too fancy. I'm surprised to see that this is actually one connected piece. Um, as I've said before, you can typically cut those off, but you know what? It's fine. That's cool. Uh, it just means that they had to use less of these. But like I said before, really easy. Cut that off and you'll be good to have it moving into individually, right? Um, nice amount of details all across the body so far. You know, it's what we would expect for the high grade Gundam, you know, even the Revive version had the same amount of details on the body. So we have a bunch of polycaps here. Not something you're really looking forward to uh, when building them, but then again, because the high grades are smaller scale, they can actually take the weight better. So polycaps isn't so bad. And in the middle, it looks like we have the backpack cannon that, you know, we'll be seeing. Cool. Next up, we have the other, this, these are more gray pieces, all right? Um, I don't know if you can see that. So right there, we have our color correcting stickers, quite a bit of them. I see there's one for the V-fin, or V-crotch. I'm a little disappointed on that one. But hey, you know, not something too hard to paint. We have a couple of sticker style decals, you know, and armor pieces. So this is all basically for the joints. See here, that's most likely for the legs. So should be should be really cool to build that. Yeah. And also, don't forget to continue on after this if you want. Um, each individual runner will be taken at the end of this unboxing and, you know, so you can see better what you're getting. So here we have the whites. Now, this is where the detail gets a lot better because there's so many lovely panel lines on this kit that, you know, I just can't wait to fill, you know. More gray pieces over here. Um, yeah, B2, so this I'm assuming is what's left over, not used from the other one. And last packet, we've got the cannon, or the bazooka. We've got the waist area, beam effects, lovely. There's a nice little detail in here. I think this is for the shoulder where the, the connects. So I don't know if you can tell from that, you'll see it later on, but there's like some tubes there. So if you have a couple of paints, that's gonna be really nice to paint. You know, like a, a silver. So it's just those little extra details that, you know, is going to give it a little bit more life. Um, yeah, more white armor pieces. And bam, the instruction manual. As I've said, one of my favorite things is that they're in English. So, okay, here we have early type and then middle type. So you can basically design, customize it any way you want. They gave you a couple of options for it, right? which is nice, I mean, obviously, it's gunplay. You don't have to follow exactly like, how it looks. You can mix and match whatever one you prefer, but yeah. So here we have 
you know. Nice, clear instructions. Everything is in English. Uh, there is that code on the bottom for anybody that wants it. You know. Hmm. This one is a little different in that it's really dark. This, this instruction is actually pretty dark. I mean, I'm kind of surprised by that. It's going to make it a little challenging to kind of tell the finer details. Sometimes you need those ones uh, to, in case you lost your footing and you know you want to compare it because they're really good illustrations. But yeah, I'm surprised. Not that it's a bad thing, but you know, just lots more color though. That's neat. So there you have it. That's your instruction manual and ooh, sticker guide. Not going to use them, but whatever. Uh, you have your more action poses of this bad guy, good guy, and yeah, your color guide as well. So that's everything that comes in the box. As I said, after this, taking a picture of each runner, and yeah, keep an eye out for that. I'll see you all next time on Gun Platinum. 